Hello, everybody. Good Tuesday morning. It's time for another ASMR video. I want you to go ahead and click right now on that wonderful like, subscribe, and, notif and notification bell. And I'm going to put a link right here so that you can go back and watch yesterday's video if you did not catch it yesterday. Or if you did, you just wanted to go back and watch, and watch it again. So I want you guys to please stay tuned for today's video. Hello everybody, welcome back to today's video. Today's title, today's ASMR title is Six Lies Anxiety Makes You Believe. The Six Lies and, and Anxiety Makes You Believe. Anxiety affects everybody, and it doesn't matter whether you're male or female. By the way, those are the only two genders, male and female, and it doesn't matter where you're from, whether you're from America, Canada, Africa, Asia, or Europe. And it doesn't matter what color of your skin you are. And anxiety affects and has effects on, on everybody, young and old. And it doesn't matter. But today, I'm going to give you the six lies that, six lies that, that anxiety makes you believe, and I'm going to give you the real truth behind those lies. I'm going to give you the truth. The first lie is this, is this, number one, that you're not good enough or not worthy. That's a lie. You are good enough to get through whatever you are going through. You know, friends say, oh, he's not going to amount to anything because, because he's not good enough. Or you're not worthy of wearing the coat and tie. You're not worthy of being the CEO because you don't have enough experience. You don't have enough this or that. That's a lie. If you work hard enough, you are going to be good enough. And you are going to be worthy of taking the next step in whatever it is, whether it is in a leadership role position, which we talked about yesterday, or just being the best that you can be. Number two. The second lie is this. That you're going to fail in whatever you do. You know, everybody fails at something in their life. I've failed at certain things in life. You have failed at certain things in life. Thomas Edison, you know what? He failed 2,000 times before he found the right, the right, the right filament in the light bulb. He said, well, now I know 2,000 ways not to make a light bulb. And, and let me say this to you. It's okay to fail. It's okay to fail. Because once you fail, you take all the stuff that you've learned from your failure and you've built and you can build on it. And the next time that you do what you need to do, whether it's a project or whatever, you go back and, and look at all your notes and say, okay, I did A, B, and C, and that failed. But now I'm going to go back. I'm going to see if I can tweak it a little bit and make it work. And then hopefully the results will be a better outcome, right? So let me say, let me say, so let me say this to you, okay? It's okay to fail. It's okay to fail. I failed. You have failed. It's okay to fail because, because from failure comes success. If you didn't. Because when you fail, you just tell yourself, hey, I had a little mishap. I'm going to brush it off my shoulders. I'm going to square my shoulders and say, okay, this didn't work. Plan A or B didn't work. Now I'm going to go to plan C. And your plans, plan C, if you plan it right, will succeed. 
Their lie is this, that everyone else is judging you. That's not true. The truth is, judging someone hurts. You and I have judged certain people without even getting to know them. Have you been guilty of that? I'm just going to be the first to raise my hand and say yes. I've been guilty of that. I've been guilty of judging people without getting to know them. And it hurts. I'm going to say this to you. Everybody may judge you, but they're not judging you in a verbal way. They may judge you in your mind, in their mind. They might they might look at you and say, in their mind now. I'm going to be thinking, well, that person isn't going to do anything because look at her. She doesn't smell very good. She ain't never going to get a man. Or whatever. Just remember, if someone is judging you, that's their opinion of you. You show them who you truly are. You show them who you truly are, and I guarantee you that their assessment and their way of thinking about you in general will change completely. Number four, the fourth lie is this, that you don't deserve good things. You do deserve good things. We all deserve good things. Now, physically, yes. Now, I'm going to talk about this just for a second. Spiritually, we don't deserve anything. We all deserve hell and separation from God. But God came down and he gave his life for us. That's the good thing that he gave us. Is his, he, he died on the cross and he gave us eternal life. God gives you good things. Physically, when they say you don't deserve good things, you have to work at getting good things. You have to work at getting the, the next promotion. You have to work at getting good grades. They just don't come to you in a basket. You have to work at good things, and you have to deserve good things by putting in the hard work, period. You don't just become, become an expert golfer, we just say, overnight. You don't become the next Tiger Woods overnight. You don't wake up the next morning and say, okay, I'm Tiger Woods. I'm going out now to the golf links for 18, for 18 holes. No. You get better. You practice a little bit each and every day. And what happens? You get better and better and better at what you do. Number five, the fifth lie, that you can't free yourself and heal. You can heal yourself. You can free yourself and, and heal yourself. It takes time. That's, it takes time. The truth is, it takes time. If you lost somebody, say to a COVID, to COVID or whatever, it takes time to free yourself from the numbness of the fact that that person is gone. You say, I can't ever heal from from what happened to me as a child or what happened to me as a young person. You can heal. It just takes time. You want to heal? Talk to somebody. Talk to a licensed counselor. Talk, talk to somebody you trust and they will help you heal and free yourself. And the last lie is this. Number six. That you can't get through this. That's the lie. The lie is you can't get through this. Well, let me just tell you something. From the beginning, you can get through this. You can get through this. It takes time. It takes hard work. It takes counseling. It takes, uh, it takes you doing what you need to do to get through whatever you're going through. Okay? It doesn't happen overnight. It may take two or three years to get, to get, to get over what you're going through. But you will get through this. Get through this. I hope that these six points have helped you see that you can get through whatever you're going through and, and you can defeat these six lies. 
I hope this video has had a has had a powerful impact on you. Guys, have a great day. God bless. Remember, you're loved by God and life is short. Make it count. Have a blessed day, everybody. God bless you all.